Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, today's topic is something called the hydrocycle. And uh, the hydrocycle is a part of fasting. It's uh, something that you can use when you're trying to detox while you're fasting. The reason why I want to actually talk about this is because a whole lot of people around me are fasting at the moment. They're doing juice fasts, they're doing water fasts. Um, and I actually worked in a fasting clinic for some time last year doing an internship for university and we use the hydrocycle there a lot. And it's just the most effective and non-invasive non way of detoxing your body to assist you during a fast. So why should you detox during a fast? Because um, when you're fasting, especially for longer periods of time, your digestive system really slows down and there's no more bowel movements. But there's a lot of toxins that gather in your body because as you break down fat cells, toxins are released from the fat cells. And they all end up in your intestines, for example. And if you don't have any bowel movements, then they're not going to get anywhere, get out anyway. So they're just going to go back into your body. <clears throat> so one of the ways you can detox is by doing enemas. A lot of people find this really uncomfortable. And uh, I mean, you can do it if you want. Um, but it also takes a lot of time. It's not the most comfortable thing uh, and it can just take a while to get used to. But the hydrocycle is something you can do basically anywhere where you have a shower and a towel, pretty much. Um, so what the hydrocycle is, is it's a combination of exercise, massage, heat, cold and rest. That's the five elements of the hydrocycle. And um, you basically just do the whole cycle. You can also just do specific elements of the hydro cycle. And uh, for example, exercise, generally uh, it's uh, 10 minutes of elevated heart rate. So if you want to go for a run or if you have um, a spinning bike at home or if you have a skipping rope, uh, anything like that, or even doing some yoga flow um, just for 10 minutes, that'll also get your heart rate up. And the point is to sweat because our skin is our largest organ and as such as it's, it's also the largest organ that we can actually detox through. So what happens is uh, when you don't move, especially when you're fasting, you don't have as much energy. So you are okay, you're going to lie in bed and you're going to move, you're not really going to move much. You're just going to sit at home drinking your water or your juices. And that's not the best idea because um, especially when you're fasting, you need to tell your body that you're actually using your muscles in order for your body not to break down your muscles to use as fuel because a lot of people, when they just die around, they lose a lot of muscle weight while fasting because the, body, because the body can use protein for fuel as well. So you need to, first of all, tell your body that you're using the muscles, which is great if you're actually doing a full body exercise. Yoga is great for this. Even running is great. You use your whole body for running. Second thing you're doing is through pumping your muscles, you are getting your lymphatic system moving. Your lymphatic system is where all, especially fat-soluble toxins, um, move through. And uh, then the third thing is you're sweating. So you're starting to excrete toxins via the skin. Uh, so that's why you should exercise as the first part of the hydrocycle. Second part is massage. This basically gets the circulation going under the skin. So you want to, I mean, if you can, you know, go, go to a sauna or something like that. And while you're there, you know, do your exercise, get a massage and then afterwards go do the sauna thing. Otherwise, if you're at home, you can do dry brushing. So there's these little massage brushes that you can use. You can also just take a large towel and just intensely towel yourself down from top to bottom, from head to toe. And this will also get the blood flowing right under your skin. So this helps the toxins move to under the skin. And then what you do is the heat phase. So that's either a sauna or even better, a steam room, which means you raise your body temperature. You raise up your body temperature and you really start to sweat. So everything that's under the skin now goes out. Um, so it's as simple as that. You're sweating out toxins. Um, stay in the steam room or sauna for about 10 minutes even. And after that, cold phase, jump in a cold pool, take a really, really cold shower, like so cold that your heart actually stops for a second. We all remember ice bucket challenge, right? Um, so really just jump in a cold pool, take a cold shower. And what this does is, is it reboots your circulation. Because what happens is when you, for example, jump in a cold pool is your circulation centralizes. Everything goes to the main most important organs because the idea is uh, the blood flow needs to be around the most important organs in order to keep you alive and your extremities aren't that important. 
But then after 30 to 50 seconds, your body starts to actually recirculate because you're moving and um, your heart's pumping faster, so your blood vessels actually dilate again. And what this means is that all the blood that's coming into your extremities is fresh blood. So you're really rebooting your entire your entire circulation just by jumping into a cold pool and actually staying in there for up to a minute at least. And after that you just go rest. And what you can do is you can repeat the, um, the hot cold phase quite a few times. A lot of people uh, like to, for so for example now if you're doing this at home you would like I said skip, um, use a skipping rope, do some yoga flows, do whatever exercise you want, towel yourself down or use a massage, massage brush um, if you would be at a gym or something where, where you have access to, to maybe a jacuzzi or something, that would be awesome. Or you get also those those jet pools or you can really book yourself in for full body massage. But at home, just a towel will do. Then hot shower, cold shower, you can repeat that cycle for as much as you want and then just rest. So sit on the couch and read a book or go straight to bed or whatever you want. So that's the hydro cycle. As you see, it's super, super easy. So if you are considering doing a fast, um, just remember this and... Uh, I mean, it doesn't doesn't have to take more than 20 minutes of your time really so if you do it once in the morning once in the evening maybe that can add so much to your fasting experience and can just make it a lot easier for you so consider doing the hydro cycle and also consider giving this video a thumbs up and a comment and don't forget to subscribe bye bye